What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look back at 2021, all my highlights. I'm going to be going through you the whole year from start to where we are now, the ups and downs and everything like that. So if you're excited for 2022 hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new around here we are going to set some high goals for next year so it's going to be good for this year even let's get into the video so we started off 2021 with 400 subscribers on january 3rd we hit that which was an amazing achievement like the the jump from november to january 400 subs just blew my mind it was amazing and from there it only got better honestly it was amazing at this point we were still in lockdown so i was dedicating all my spare time to making videos i also bought my most expensive lego star Wars set which was a crazy experience. It was one of those where you go into the shop, you're thinking, do I do it? I can stop now, or I can buy it, or I can stop, or I can buy it. Oh, and it was just surreal. I couldn't even go in the shop and actually buy it. We had to like click and collect because like I say, it was lockdown. It was a weird period of the year. And I had to pay, pick it up on like a table outside, which was really bizarre. But we bought our most expensive Lego Star Wars set, the UCS play style Death Star, which is retired now. So I'm super happy that I got that. I made my first Q and A, which was really, I've always wanted to do on that. I've always been interested in what people would ask me in a Q and A. So super excited that I did that. Went down really well. I did a couple more episodes after that as well. That's how much I enjoyed it. But then the questions just kind of dried up slightly. So I'd never made like a part four. I think I made three parts. So I never made a part four because the questions dried up a bit. I also made my first ever Bricklink order, which is something that I've always wanted to do. When you're obviously collecting Lego as like a young younger person, you hear so many people talk about Bricklink, this, Bricklink, that. If you want parts, do this, do that. And I've never really been into mock building or anything like that. So I thought I'm going to buy some things off. Bricklink. I bought some clone helmets, I think, were the first things that I bought, and just other bits and bobs, which was like an awesome experience. But I also tried decaling my own clones for the first ever time. Obviously, if you know Leg like Stars, if you know the Leg like Stars community, they like to decal. There are hundreds of people that do it. It's all over YouTube, and it looked really awesome to me that you could get like a clone that you've want always wanted that Lego have never made, and you can buy a decal sheet and you can make it yourself. So I thought that was really awesome. So I tried that for the first time. And since I uploaded that video, that video is actually like blown up like 1.4 thousand views which is like crazy awesome and then on february 23rd 2021 something crazy happened something like i would only ever have dreamed of happening is i hit 1000 subscribers live on a live stream on a stream tuesday that i used to do every single tuesday through lockdown and it was just amazing you caught my live reaction i couldn't really couldn't believe it because there's quite often if loads of people subscribe with different accounts youtube notices it straight away and they delete it so i really thought because i was like that, that close that somebody had just managed to go on to like 30 different accounts and subscribe 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 and then i realized no that no nobody did that because i didn't lose the subscribers i woke up the next day still on 1000 subscribers which was just amazing i can't believe i caught it on live stream i managed to gain 600 subscribers in over a month which is an amazing amount of subscribers honestly if i carried on going at that rate i would be on probably about 10,000 subscribers right now but we slowed down and we'll get to that in a minute but super it was awesome it really was it was one of the best feelings because i mentioned in that video as well that i this is not my first youtube channel this is like my fourth or fifth i've been trying to make videos since i was like yay big and now I'm finally getting somewhere. And throughout 2021, there are some videos that I made that I was so proud of. Like me and my girlfriend, Georgia, we made a video called Lego Date, which was awesome. We bought the UCS A-Wing. We made a video about it. We bought pizza. We watched it. It was like a vlog type video, but it was awesome because I did it with Georgia. Then there was a series that I obviously don't claim or anything like that, but I think I was the first one to do it in like the Lego community is React to subscribers channels which i thought was awesome that video went down so well it must have got about 200 views in an evening which was like crazy at the time like i know i've had over 1000 subscribers but to get that amount of views like that was just awesome and then i think it ended up on like 388 and i must have had about 50 odd comments saying can i be in part two can i be in part two can i be in part two which was awesome because that in that's what i love to interact with people in comments say yeah sure yeah you can be in it and then in the streams people were saying can i be in it i just loved that so I'm, we made a part two and I did make a part three, but I can't remember if I ever released it. I don't know if I did. Did make a part three, but I didn't. I'm not sure if I released it. So in those videos, I really enjoyed making. I really like seeing what you guys make and what basically what's out there. It's really interesting to see because I know there's lots of people who want to make it in the Lego YouTube space, and it was really good to 
give people, even if it was only 200 extra people watching, it was really good to give people that time in the spotlight, if you know what I mean, even if it was only to 200 more people. And then another one was to do with my girlfriend, and that was... I gave her my credit card and I let her buy whatever she wants off eBay, off anywhere really. As long as it was to do the Lego obviously. And we made that video, it was super fun, it was super scary because she spent like hundreds of pounds on Lego and I had no idea what she was buying. But it was an awesome video, she bought some really cool stuff, some stuff that I would have never even thought of buying myself. We did that video and that video went down super well. I don't think I've seen anyone do that in the Lego space either, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then in May, I made my gaming channel, which was a super cool thing. I haven't committed to that as much as I wanted to. I have got 43 subscribers, which is like awesome, like... Like I said, last October in 2020, that would have been an awesome amount of subscribers. So it's a year later and I've managed to make a gaming channel that I've only got three videos on at the moment. And I've got 43 subscribers, which is awesome. The people that subscribe to that channel really want to see gaming videos, which I'm super excited to carry on with throughout 2022. Like say we've got Lego Star Wars Luke Skywalker Saga coming out. We've got obviously new Star Wars games coming out. We've got so many things to play. At the moment we're doing a Minecraft series. And then I think I'm going to start a Battlefront series maybe, but like I said, super awesome gaming channel that I made this year. If you do want to check that out, that is the link is in the description or it's on the channel section on the on the channel. So that was basically the summed up the start of the year, January to May. So those five months were like honestly awesome. The start of the year could not have gone any better. And then all of a sudden the lockdown ended. No excuses really to be honest, because everybody who has made it on YouTube before lockdown has made it while doing a job alongside or while doing school alongside or why anything like that alongside and i just really slacked off i started a new job so i was fully concentrating on that so i was doing monday to friday nine to five and then i was also doing a part-time job in a pub where i used to work for just some extra money to fund the youtube videos and everything like that to fund lego and my hobbies and things so really i didn't have much time to make videos and then the only time i did i did i'm not gonna lie i did like to just chill relax build lego on my own watch tv watch sit series watch films so the rest of 2021 was very slow and it, like i say it's all my fault i completely took my foot off the accelerator which is a shame because i was thinking the other day imagine if i carried on at the rate i was i would pr probably like i say i'd probably like to think i would be on at least four or five thousand subscribers now but my own fault i stopped i slowed down so now the last couple of months has really been like trying to start the engine again like try and get it going getting the views back we're getting 70 views a video again which is sick i'm super happy with that like i said a year ago i would have been so chuffed with that amount amount of views every single video so super excited and what motivated me was a couple of things i had a short video that i made some of you might have seen it already which was like a star wars problems i think it came across wrong in some ways but it doesn't matter because i think everybody who subscribed to the actual channel understood what the video meant it was called lego stars problems and it was me trying to figure out a space to put a new lego set and it was amongst lego star wars sets were, were not expensive they were not fancy they're not special at all they were just ones that i've collected over the years on a small shelf as well so it was me trying to find a space for it and it got it got over a hundred thousand views i think at the moment it's hitting sitting at one hundred and ten thousand, which is just amazing like I say, that's got thousands of likes. It's got a hell of a lot of dislikes. Like lots of people took it the wrong way, but lots of people also took it the right way. So that was really good. Honestly, it gained a lot of traffic to the channel. I also made my most viewed video of the year, which was my Lego Stars 2021 rumor list. This rumor list was like way before any leaks or anything for this year. And it was basically completely fake. I knew it was fake. I claimed it in the video that this list is fake, but Let's see what would happen if I just one set was real. And that video is sitting at 2.8 thousand views, which is like incredible. That video got a lot of views considering at the time I wasn't making that many videos. So it's like that was super motivating. And obviously I added lots of Lego sets to my collection throughout the year because obviously my channel's mainly about Lego Star Wars, which is awesome. Vlogged every month. Well, most Mondays I uploaded a vlog, which was awesome. I love doing vlogs because they're, I know they are Lego based. Like we'll go to a Lego shop, we'll shop for Lego, we'll do things like that. But they are basically my day to day life, my days off. What made it even better was I kept having comments. Oh, when are you uploading a vlog? When are you doing this? What, when are you doing that? And that's what like, I think people thrive off when they make videos, just the interactivity. So overall 2021, it's been a very up and down year. The start of the year was like, I couldn't, it couldn't have been any better. And then it slowed down for my own fault, really. But like I said, now we are getting back on it. We are putting our foot back on the accelerator. We're ending the year with 1,400 subs, which is 
awesome it's an amazing achievement i'm super super happy with that considering i haven't been uploading as much as i should so super super happy with that in 2022 it's going to be an awesome year i do think i'm going to make a video like what are the goals what do we want to hit in 2022 which is going to be awesome and it's going to be good i can't wait to get back to it uploading having the same like feel that i had at the start of 2021 throughout the whole 2022 so it's going to be awesome guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button tell me down below what you want to achieve in 2022 because i feel like the start of a new year is always can give you that motivation to if you start it high you can like carry on as long as you've got the right mindset and everything like that so yeah guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button for a successful 2022 it's going to be a good one and yeah i'll see you in the next video